Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to be asking the question, is Ubuntu safe to use? Now, in my previous video, um, I looked at a review of Ubuntu. And those of you with poor eyesight um, might think that I'm using Windows here. But what I'm actually using is Ubuntu, which is a Ubuntu-based distribution that's made to look like Windows 11. And uh, for all intents and purposes, it acts and behaves like Windows 11. From setting up your system tray down here to the way the quick launch buttons work, it's even got Copilot installed. Uh, the Windows Start button, it's got Microsoft Edge installed, uh, OneDrive. Uh, you've got only Office, which is clearly um, a Windows clone. Now, if, it also comes with Chrome and Steam installed, and Teams is installed as well. And everything looks and feels like Windows 11. So, this um, for me, um, I thought it was actually quite a good distribution whilst reviewing it. It, it does actually. Um, hit the spot in terms of the everyday Linux user, especially if you're going from a Windows um, situation where you've been using Windows for a long time. Um, I'm not sure um, from a Linux user's point of view what you're trying to achieve by using this. Are you a Windows user and you want to use Windows but you haven't got TPM so you want to stitch something that looks like Windows? Um, I think this would make you come unstuck. Do you just like the Windows look and feel? Um, that's another reason you might use this, um, but you want to have uh, Linux under the hood. The question that has to be asked is, is this a good or a bad thing, um, a distro like this? Now, previously I've reviewed Q4 OS, and whilst Q4 OS looks and feels like um, Windows XP and uh, Windows NT etc and even Windows Vista it is distinctive enough that you can tell the difference and it also serves a purpose that it runs on older computers so um, whilst it may look a bit like Windows it's still it's still Linux enough that it's it, it's still Linux this is Linux looking like Windows um, what worries me is the use of the Windows backgrounds, the use of the Windows look and feel. Um, this feels like you might be being duped into thinking it is Windows. Um, how long before Microsoft put in a cease and desist order on this? Because they've used the same icons for the waste bin. I, I can't believe Microsoft would allow this to go without any sort of intervention at some point uh, it, it, if, especially if it becomes really popular so I'm, I'm not sure on the longevity of using Ubuntu how long it's going to be around in this guise there's one thing making it have a sort of like look and feel of Windows XP but using the latest operating system and making it look like that and making it act and behave like it I'm, I'm I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know who develops uh, Ubuntu, so we're, we're going to step out of this virtual machine that I'm in, and I've got some web pages open. So this is the Ubuntu web page. So I mean, the web page is quite slick. You can see the website's very slick, and it's got the download. I don't know what the professional key does. So the professional key gives you like Windows style control panels, Active Directory, uh, OneDrive through the file manager. And it's thirty five pounds for a professional key. The community takes you to the Source Forge uh, forum, and then you've got the Contact Us page. Now I've looked to here plus fifty five. I believe that's Brazil. Uh, and the fact that this is here as Brazil would make me think as a Brazilian operating system. Uh, if you're a developer of Ubuntu, it'd be nice to um, for you to put some comments in and, and say who you are and 
what you're actually about. There's not a, a lot of about us on here, who we are and why we're making this operating system. Now, I did read this article here. Um, I don't know what this site is, BNN. Um, so is it as trustworthy as Ubuntu itself? I don't know. Um, but it does say about it raising eyebrows and concerns. And it says, uh, this is the reality uh, Ubuntu offers, blowing the lines between two operating systems in a bid to attract users seeking the familiarity of Windows with open source flexibility of Linux. And it says a promising blend with the side of controversy. And one of the things it does say is the excitement is not without reservations. Ubuntu use of Microsoft and Ubuntu assets without explicit consent has raised eyebrows, which is kind of what I'm saying is that I'm surprised that they're going to get away with it for long. And it says questions about potential trademark violations linger, casting a shadow of the distribution's legitimacy. And moreover, Ubuntu's association with Linux FX, a distribution previously under fire for user data leaks, amplifies the concern. And it says, while the initiative behind Ubuntu might be a product of renovation, the execution treads on thin ice, navigating legal and ethical boundaries. Um, and that's probably how I feel about it. It's, it looks good. It does look like Windows 11. I'm not going to say it doesn't. I mean, how you can say this doesn't look like Windows 11, I don't know. It looks and behaves like it. Uh, I think it looks too much like it. Uh, and it, it, it concerns me that they're basically ripping it off, to be honest. Uh, so um, I noted this, moreover, Ubuntu's association with Linux affects a distribution previously under fire for data leaks. So I then went on to search for Linux FX and I came across this. Now. This is the same web page, is it not? <laughs> you can't really step aside from the fact that Linux FX and Ubuntu are the same thing. So it looks like we've got Linux FX and we've got Ubuntu and they're both In fact, it's the same phone number on the contact page. I mean, there's lots of people um, talking about this distribution. And the reason I came across this distribution at all was because in my comment section, um, somebody had said they'd tried Q4 OS and it worked OK, but they couldn't get Ubuntu to work at all. Now, I don't know if that was one of the developers of Ubuntu wanting me to look at it so that I'd give it a review. If they have, kudos, because I've just done it. Um, and I've now made this follow-up video. So I'm going to summarise what I think about the whole Ubuntu thing. From an actual installation usability point of view, it does work. I'm not going to complain that it does seem to work on the surface. Um, but I think I would err on the side of caution as to whether I'd be keen to use it or not. Um, I, 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 I'm worried about the Linux FX thing. Um, I'm worried about why are there two distributions with exactly the same website, exactly the same contact details, very similar look and feels. What's going on there? The fact that it's so close to Microsoft stuff, it feels like they're this. It, it does almost feel like um, plagiarism uh, and copyright theft to be honest and trademark infringements I'd be surprised if they get away with it for long and if they can do that so easily um, I'm worried how safe is your data on this system um, so I think my overall summary is if you want to try it out try it out but uh, on the side of caution um, I'm not sure whether this is or isn't a good distribution to use. Uh, I'll be looking for feedback from other people to say what their experiences are and what they think about the situation as well. Um, so that's the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.